the Atlantic Coast Pipeline, the Mountain Valley Pipeline, and the Appalachian Connector are in a race to build through the Virginias. Big energy needs to protect its corporate financial interests. We need to protect something much more important. Our land, our water, the very air we breathe. Fracking is environmentally unsound. Gas pipelines are inherently dangerous. The gas may be shipped overseas. I have a real problem with that. The gas is not for us. The jobs are not for us. Thing. You're killing people just so you can have better electricity. There are other alternatives in this world, and we need to focus on alternatives. We privatize the profits and we socialize the damage. Private citizens no longer have any rights in this country. The country is now controlled by big business. Why would a federal agency even accept an application from an environmental criminal? The fossil fuel industry bought Congress. The National Gas Act basically empowers the federal government and the FERC to just build these things. There needs to be public hearings to review our energy policy. The very agency that is supposed to be deciding is this a good idea has everything to gain by wiping us out. Uh, West Virginia has approximately 1,200 active hydrofracking wells. Between 2005 and 2013, they've used 17 billion gallons of water from West Virginia. The fracking companies have paid nothing for this water. Since methane is 25 times as effective as carbon dioxide in trapping heat, that is about equal to the carbon emissions of one to three million cars. I hope that you will take my views into consideration. Only we, the people, by virtue of our numbers, have the power to effect change and say no more to dirty energy and yes, to renewables. Undoctored children and families are being harmed by the emissions that you're allowing to be put right into their neighborhood, where they have to live, where they do sports, and they're breathing them in, and it's causing them to have disease and early death. You're criminals. Since 1986, there have been over 8,000 pipeline incidents, resulting in more than 500 fatalities, 2,400 injuries, and over 7 billion in property damages. We're living in a cul-de-sac. And if this mountain is on fire, we probably cannot get off it, and we all would die. I call it environmental predation. And I think our government ought to protect citizens from that. And they don't. Don't let this become this. For this.